that sense of unfairness and of powerlessness of people not hearing their voices, that's helped fuel some of the protests that we've seen in places like Baltimore and Ferguson and right here in New York. The catalysts of those protests were the tragic deaths of young men and a feeling that law is not always applied evenly in this country, which is why in addressing the issues in Baltimore or Ferguson or New York, the point I made was that if we're just looking at policing, we're looking at it too narrowly. If we ask the police to simply contain and control problems that we ourselves have been unwilling to invest and solve, that's not fair to the communities, it's not fair to the police. Doubling the percentage of boys and young men of color who read at grade level by the third grade. Increasing their high school graduation rates by 20 percent. Getting 50,000 50, more of those young men into post-secondary education or training. They've already announced $80 million in commitments to make this happen, and that is just the beginning. 